Crews in Pawtucket battle a four alarm fire. Several buildings, including a triple decker, went up in flames around 1.30 today. Right now you're looking at cell phone video first taken at the scene but by one of our eyewitness news photographers. It happened at the intersection of Harrison and Slater Streets. Tonight the Red Cross is helping the people who lost their homes. It is our top local story tonight at 6.30. Eyewitness news reporter Maura Kennedy joins us live with the details from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom in Pawtucket. Mara. Catherine, we've been on the scene since one o'clock when this fire started. You could see behind me this yellow building here. Fire crews are still putting out some hot spots and you can actually see smoke still coming from the top of the building here. Now, fire officials tell me that multiple families are homeless tonight and the winds play a major part in this blaze. Flames shoot through Pawtucket homes as dozens of firefighters from four different agencies battle the blaze. The three alarm fire affecting eight buildings and displacing multiple families. My daughter had to pound on our windows to get us out because the back house first was the first house to set on fire and then it traveled to the yellow house and that's basically how it went down. It just was so fast that really everybody was just running around trying to get out of you know, get out of the area. The strong winds made the battle extremely difficult. It took crews hours to finally get the blaze under control. Firefighters tell Eyewitness News how it started is still under investigation. We, do, we can't say where it started right now, but there indeed was a shed that was back there, which is totally destroyed by the fire. At least two dozen people live in the three-story home, and fire officials say luckily they were all able to escape. Neighbors came to help those families, now homeless. We went home to give them blankets because they were cold out here. We had extra, so we just passed them on. Firefighter is being observed for carbon monoxide poisoning. No other injuries reported at this time. Reporting live with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Mark Kennedy, Eyewitness News.